Hey, Tubies, it's Lord Iceon. Well, welcome to Saturday night. So good to be with you. Well, tonight I thought we would do something a little different because, you know, once in a while we got to change it up. And I thought tonight we'd have a mystical scrying session with my giant crystal ball. You guys have written, a lot of you said, are you going to do any mystical crystal ball sessions? It's like Bob's hearing you. So I thought we would tonight. By the way, how do you like this crystal ball? It's pretty big. It's about the size of a, a, probably a soccer ball, I'm guessing, or a football in England, they call it, but a soccer ball here in the U.S. Isn't it lovely? Solid crystal. Anyways, I love my giant crystal, and it's been with me a number of years. And I thought tonight we would go into the crystal, into as they say, enter into the crystal silence and see what there is to learn. So anyways, pull up your chairs here. You know, every week we usually have a seance, but tonight we're going to just, as I said, change it up. But it doesn't matter because we're all going to gather and be open to spirit. So I want you to invite you to my home tonight virtually and pull up your chair to your computer and know that in your heart and soul, you are now joining our mystic circle tonight. Welcome to all of you, and especially welcome to the new beast of my channel. If you're new here, make sure to tell me in the box below. If it's your first time or you just joined our channel, I would love to hear from you. Well, I thought maybe what we should do is <coughs> start an invocation. So let us now open the channel. And so join with me. Mystic Spirit, Mother, Father, God, we ask that you be present this night. As we open the door between the worlds, may our mystical crystal serve as a portal to allow communication to come through from the mystic realms, from the other side, from those in spirit who wish to commune with us. We thank you for this opportunity to gather. We ask your blessing on our time together this night. May we all be enlightened with the spirit, so mote it be. So mode it be. <laughs> well, I'm going to settle down and just start the gazing. Join me for the gazing. You might see something tonight as well. So we're going to just look into the ball. You know, when I look into the crystal, it's really interesting because sometimes I see, you know, clouds form in the ball. It looks very cloudy. And tonight I'm just looking in. It's already getting just a little a little misty, a little hazy, which is a good sign. As I'm looking into the crystal now, just letting myself go. When you do crystal gazing, just relax with it. There's no big rush. You don't have to be amazing and rush everything. Just take your time with it. And as we look into the crystal, it starts to haze over. And just allow your eyes to just look within Now it's really clouding over. And as I'm looking into the crystal now, it's interesting because in the middle of the cloud, I'm seeing a pinpoint of light. It's like a little star. Oh, it's getting brighter. It's like flashing silver light to me. Oh, it's beautiful. And now it's getting larger. It's coming closer to me. It's a large five-pointed star, and it's in silver. I'm hearing a voice. It's funny because when I scry, a lot of times I get sounds as well because it's very three-dimensional. And I'm hearing a voice speaking now. It sounds like a voice of thunder, but it's a woman's voice. I hear rolling thunder. I'm getting wind. The voice is talking. And she says, you know me, I am the ancient mother. I come here tonight and bring my sacred symbol, the silver star, the five pointed star, the pentagram. Look upon the symbol. I can see the stars are sparkling. She says, look upon the symbol and know that it represents me. I am the great goddess 
the mother of the earth, the mother of the sea, the mother of the moon, and the mother of the silver star. You may call me by any name you wish. Many call me Isis, for I am the dawn star, the morning star. Some call me Hecate, for I shine in the darkness of night. Others call me Bridget, those who seek the knowledge of the earth. In whatever name you call me, I am the Great Mother, and the silver star shall be my symbol to you. Some of you wish to gather and to study the mysteries of my star, and this shall surely have my blessing. My servant who brings my message tonight, he has been receiving further messages about this star. That's true, I have. She's talking about me. I hear her saying, she says, he wants to help people learn the mysteries. And the mysteries are yet to be revealed. Within the star, truths and power will be found. I invite those of you who are called to this mystic work to, to study and to contemplate the star. But those of you who are drawn to this mystic five-pointed star, let it become a sign to you of my presence. Embrace its power. You should gather in groups to meditate and study its mysteries. Call upon the star as a sign of power, as a sign of blessing. For some of you, you have had many lives connected to this silver star. You remember from ancient Lemuria, ancient Atlantis, ancient Babylon, ancient Egypt, and the list goes on. For never has there been a time when the sacred silver star was not present unto you. Remember its power, call upon it. I encourage each of you who wish to join with our channel. I wish you to join with him under this name. He has proposed the name, the mystics of the silver star. And this name meets with my approval. So gather in your homes, whether singular or in group, and know that you are part of the bigger group. The work of the silver star is going forth again into the world. The silver star has always been in the world. At one time it was called the mystic star of the east. And in India, there was an organization in the early part of your 20th century, the Mystics of the Star of the East. In time, it became the Order of the Star. And in time, that order faded. Though the orders of the earth over time have changed and come and gone and faded into history, the truths of the sacred, sacred silver star have never been lost. Wow. And as I'm looking, like the star is coming closer to me. And it's shining. Oh, it's like it's illuminating the inside of my crystal here. Hold on. I think there's a voice. She's talking again. Isis. I, I call her Isis. Isis is speaking. And she said, yes, she said, I bring to you this image that it will stay within your consciousness, that you shall know that you can call on me as well through the star. But the star has its own power. It is not limited by time or space or distance. And wherever you are, any of you here hearing my voice tonight, the star is available. Call on it. Let it bless you and let it be its power. 
Let its power be unto you. Excuse me. It's hard to channel and talk and try to get it off. And she's holding the star. Now the star has shrunk down. And Isis is standing before me dressed in a silver veil. So her veil on her head is similar to mine, but it's done in like a silver chiffon material. Like see-through, but silvery. And she's holding the star like in her hand, just like this. Like she's holding a small star. And as she's holding it, she's raising it up. And literally, it's like rays of light are coming out. It's so beautiful to see this. And she said, each of you who wish to work with my silver star, she says, bring into your home a physical sign. Bring in your own star. You may make your star from paper, cardboard, or wood. You may make it from metal. You may find an artisan, it's an interesting word, she says, an artisan who crafts stars and purchase a star, but it must be silver and it must be of the five points. In time, I will reveal to you the mysteries of each point of the five points. In your modern day, pagan faiths of Wicca and paganism, the five points have many meanings. But within the mystics of the silver star, there are meanings that have yet to be revealed. Come and gather and learn of my mysteries through the silver star. May this channel do his work in guiding this work upon the earth. I will help him and all who come to join with him. Call me the Great Mother. I am Isis of the Silver Star. Oh my gosh, and I'm looking at her and she's just starting to fade away. And the mist is gathered, but out of the mist, there's still, I can only see, I can't see her, she's covered in mist. But the star, this like, the five points are just shining silver rays down through the clouds. It's really beautiful. Have you ever seen like moonlight or sunlight when it goes through the clouds, you can see the rays. That's what it looks like. And the stars just shining rays. And now it's fading. The image, the image is gone. <laughs> wow, gosh, I didn't expect that tonight, but what a blessing it was. And then I could hear her voice coming through. Isn't that amazing? Well, hang with us just a minute, guys. I'm going to have to show you something. Wow, I was so inspired by Isis's showing me the silver star. And so I thought I would show you some of my silver stars that I've had. For a while now, I've been receiving messages from her about this work of the order of the mystics of the silver star. So there's one of my silver stars. I, some of you saw my video where I made this. So here's one silver star. Oh, by the way, behind me on the wall, there's another silver star. Okay. The one she held in her hand was very interesting. It looked a little bit like kind of like both of these. This is one of my other silver stars. She held it in her hand like small, like this. So you know, she was blessing us with the silver star. Isn't that a beautiful? Oh, you can see I got a glare here. That's a lovely silver star. And also it kind of looked like this too, you know. So either, you know, either way, there's no one way to have to see the star. I think the silver star comes to all of us in different ways. But um, anyways, I, I feel really inspired now by this. And so we are going to begin a group that's going to work within our Wiccan order, the order of the Purple Cord. The overall arching order is the order of the Purple Cord. So all members of the mystics of the Silver Star will also be members of the order of the Purple Cord. You know how in the Masons, there are different types of groups within Masonry, like you become a Mason, but you can be a Mason as a Knight Templar or a Shriner, or they also have an order, the Order of the Eastern Star. You know, there are different ways to be a Mason. Well, our Order of the Purple Cord is going to be similar. So all members will be OPC members. OPC is the shortened term for Order of the Purple Cord. But you can also be within that, do the special work of the Mystics of the Silver Star. Would you guys be interested in joining the Mystics of the Silver Star? 
I've received it. Like, this is like not just the first time. She's channeled through me before. And so I've had dreams of this. And then she come through the crystal tonight. So we're going to work on that. And, you know, let me know below if you're interested in being part of that. Um, it sounds like what she has to reveal is that there are going to be more revelations about mysteries of the star and secret things to know about the star and its points. They'll have mystical meanings. So I think it's going to be an amazing time. I'm going to work on receiving more channeled revelations about the direction of the work of the mystics. But the way I see the mystics of the Silver Star and the way she describes it is that I think that, uh, you know, this work will also be, you know, uh, something to raise our spiritual consciousness and also to help the world. I got this sense from seeing the mystic from the silver star, its mystery and power made me believe that, you know, there's power that we can direct from the star to all people of the world. So we'll have more about it here, but uh, wow, what an interesting channeling. Well, guys, listen, thank you for being here. And, you know, I myself raise my silver star in blessings to all of you. Thank you for being here. I love all of you. Keep it here, Spirit Channel. By the way, tomorrow we got a special event, Sunday night. Don't miss it. We're going to do a live stream event. We're going to do live stream um, uh, Sunday night hangout where I'll be taking your questions from chat. It'll be live here um, and doing live psychic readings. So come hang out with us. We have a really great time. The show is going to be live here at YouTube Channel. Just come to YouTube at 7 p.m. Eastern U.S. time. Now, depending what time zone you are in North America, it's 7 Eastern, 6 Central, 5 p.m. Mountain, um, 4 p.m. Pacific time. For those of you in London, it'll be midnight London time or 1 a.m. Paris time. I would love to have all of you there. Well, I've so enjoyed it. Thank you for gathering and joining our mystic scrying session. I'll definitely keep watching. I love all of you. Blessings to you. Be back here tomorrow for the live show. And by the way, don't forget, help me out. Like this video, thumbs up, favorite it, share it with your friends, and hit subscribe. And also make sure to visit my website, psychicbob.com. Link will be in the info box below. And you can purchase private readings over there as well as sign up for next Saturday's psychic development class. We had our psychic class day. It was amazing and fun. Um, today we learned about ways in which spirit speaks to us. So come out and join us. I'd love to hear from you guys and we'll see you tomorrow for our live stream event. Till then, may all of you always blessed be.